When it comes to the future of the MCU, I think we can all agree that Red Hulk is going to be with us sooner rather than later. Now let's talk about an update to some older rumors that seem to be getting confirmed as we get closer to seeing She-Hulk and the inevitable Thunderbolts project. Before they originally started shooting Black Widow, we heard about a lot of rumors that Thunderbolt Ross would be appearing in that film in different time periods and that they would sort of start establishing what he was doing in the background trying to go and assemble his own team because he was sort of being a counter to what Nick Fury was doing. We saw this when it came to the Incredible Hulk and we keep hearing that this is exactly what they're going to do with the character and ultimately this is going to lead to the big revelation down the road that he has assembled his own team known as the Thunderbolts. Now apparently one of the big central pieces to this will be the big revelation again that he is the Red Hulk and he's trying to learn how to better control that and become sort of the ultimate weapon to show that you can control the Hulk. Now previously it was rumored that the Red Hulk would tie itself all the way back around to Iron Man 3, specifically with the whole Extremis project being utilized, and also that they would go and touch upon the Weapon Plus program, aka the program that leads to Wolverine. Well, recent rumors and revelations and confirmations with the Falcon and the Winter Soldier dabbling in that, and Thunderbolt Ross having a sort of behind the scenes presence there with that the black widow confirmation of him being in there and then the shuri files which tease that they're still experimenting with extremis now all come back around to these rumors possibly revealing that maybe that's exactly what these rumors previously stated and that's exactly what we're getting as the end result so you really think about it it kind of does make sense and it might be a nice way to explain why he's red if they start using a variation of Extremis or even Extremis itself, maybe that's a derivative, which is why it gives them that sort of fiery look and it ties them back to what Tony Stark was doing and what they were doing with Extremis, but also ties it to the Weapon Plus program as he's trying to, you know, take elements or even steal elements and assemble his own team. It sort of makes uh, bigger connections to where the MCU is going, but also ties it all the way back around to where the MCU began. And I think this honestly is the best way to do it if they just say oh yeah Thunderbolt Ross he's Red Hulk and uh I, he just injected himself with the same vials that they injected Blonsky with and it worked that that's lame then why don't they just give that to everybody and assemble a thousand hulks like you know it, it's kind of just like easy right so you got to go a little bit different into it if maybe it doesn't work and they've tried but it backfires because they're trying to mix it with other things that have worked like extremis it does uh paint a bigger picture of what they might be doing in the mcu to experiment with humans <laughs> 